All right, and we're live. Welcome back to another uh, Party Horn Live. Welcome back to Skyrim, the 10th anniversary edition. And today is the day, my friends. Today, uh, we become a cannibal. <clears throat> and we start this playthrough off uh, the way it was supposed to be played. So, I'm trying to remember... Uh, hopefully my internet issues have been worked out, but we'll see. Uh, also, just a heads up, if the game crashes, just wait a little bit, come back to the channel, because I will be streaming until 9pm, unless my internet is giving me issues. Uh, but I checked right before I started, so we should be fine. Should be. All right, let's see. What was I doing? Uh, first thing is first. Everything's for sale. Okay, so apparently I am in White Run. What was I doing here? Uh, let me check my inventory. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess. I uh, sold off all the stuff that I didn't need, and I was going to disenchant these. That would make sense. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I went through Helgen. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay, I still have plenty of that. I'm still 97 pounds, though, so what? Okay. Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot about this. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I mean, we could go ahead and get rid of that. It would trigger the dragons, but just in case... Well, just in case. Uh, even though we can give this dragon stone and clear up 25 pounds, which would be very useful... Uh, it doesn't mean I have to continue the main quest. Because the main quest is one of the last things I want to do. Because by the time I get to Alduin, I want to be a very, very powerful uh, demigod. <sighs> but that is 25 pounds, though, and man, that's a lot of weight. Uh, okay. Well... I still have the same sword that I... Huh. Actually, do I have... Well, I do back at the farm. Shit. Okay. Well, I guess what we will do is... I'll go ahead and disenchant these items real quick. Clear up my inventory a little bit. And then we'll go from there. My favorite drinking. Let's get some peace. Old friend. Patron of the great bad battle. <sighs> Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Breeze Hall. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> All right. Actually, let me readjust this microphone a little bit. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and disenchant the these things that I don't need. So, 12% less. Okay, so we will go ahead and disenchant that. And then we will disenchant that. Okay, cool. So that should free us up a little bit of space. Three pounds, okay. Uh, all right then. Well, <clears throat> let's head back to the farm. Let's go ahead and drop everything off I don't need, 
and then we will become a cannibal and then we'll go from there I'm as much annoyed as the next man but I'm no fool actually excuse me one second <clears throat> I have a funny feeling that uh something is amiss hold on give me one second Hmm, let's see here. <clears throat> this will just take a second. Uh, what? YouTube, why you gotta be all weird? And that should uh, should take care of that. All right, cool, excellent. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, YouTube's being weird. They're not sending my notifications out. So, oh, I have a custom marker. So, uh, where is it? What did I have marked? Okay, I imagine that was me going back through White Run. Anyway, uh, nope, nope. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> Come to chat with an old woman. Hmm? Yeah, those I don't suppose you're going to buy something. All right, Lightning. Let's go home and prepare for our first step. Into this playthrough. The actual evil character build. I'm pretty excited. This will be my first time being a cannibal with survival mode, so I'm interested to see how uh, this is going to work. And remember, my RP rule is, as soon as I become a cannibal, I will no longer eat food. <clears throat> which means it's going to be very possible that I'm going to be starving for days and days at a time. Which is why I've been building up uh, mostly a magical uh, build. All I know is lightning stamina isn't great. Like, she's already tired. I don't understand.
Uh, yeah, this is, uh, not the very beginning of this playthrough, but it's, it's the very beginning of, uh, what this character is truly gonna become. Cause, uh, once I rest and get level 10, then we are going to Markarth, uh, to become a cannibal. So it will be our, uh, first step toward becoming a Daedric Prince. Because so far, this character has been hiding her true nature. And since soon, the only way we'll be able to survive is eating the flesh of her dead enemies, uh... We're gonna be forced to, uh... Be our true selves at times. All I know is lightning stamina is not great. This is really starting to upset me. Like, she, she trots for like a second and then she slows down. I don't understand. Plus, we should have some gold waiting on us, too. Which will be, uh, nice to receive. Uh, I should be streaming until 9pm, uh, Eastern Standard Time. As long as the game doesn't crash, so if the game crashes, it'll automatically kick me out of the stream. Just wait about five minutes and then come back and I'll be... I'll be, uh, ready to go. Alright, so where is my slave, Feindal? Where are you, you fuck? You better be doing something productive. Well, anyway, while we're waiting on him to show up, uh, we'll go ahead and dump our gear. <clears throat> I also need to find, uh, a proper house to, uh, put all my loot. I think, uh, Shadowfoot Sanctum will be the, the house that I use to drop off all my loot. From what I've, uh, looked into, it's supposed to have the most, uh, accessible, uh, trophy rooms and what have you. Alright, so we are going to get rid of all this for now. Because I want to have to transfer everything out of this chest before I upgrade any of the interior of the house. Because <clears throat> Skyrim has a bad habit if you upgrade the interior of a house and you got anything in one of its chests, then it'll just delete it. And uh, we don't want that. So, all right, 84 pounds, which isn't terrible, but it's still not great. Hey, Scarecrow, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Uh, my internet issues seem to be good now. Uh, hopefully it stays that way. But today, my friend, today is the day we start eating the flesh of our fallen enemies. Actually, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, sleep. We'll sleep for eight hours. <clears throat> Boom, last one to magic. So, for those who don't know, I'm doing a 20-80 ratio. So, the first two levels out of every increment of 10 levels, I'll be putting into health, and then the remainder will be going into my magical pool. Uh, I will wait till after I break level 81 to start putting things in stamina. So, any stamina buffs I have are going to be from blessings or enchanted gear or anything like that. All right, so now we have a perk point. So, uh, let's see, what could we do here? <clears throat> Mystic Binding. Uh, 
Let's see. Restoration. Destruction. We'll go with dual cast. Excellent. Oh, and we're already hungry. Alright, here we go. So, as far as I'm aware, I can become a cannibal at level 10, so that's what we're going to do. So, we are now going to Markov. But first, I gotta find my fucking slave. Where the fuck are you, Fandal? Well, the thing is, it is important for fighting, and I'm also sure it, it, it gives you extra carry weight value as well. But my character has to pretend to be a decent human being until a certain point of my playthrough. So that means I have to be friendly with people, which means I can't just eat people's dead bodies in front of witnesses. Uh, so there's going to be like long periods of time where I may not get to eat anything. So all my perks are going into magic because hunger doesn't affect my magic. My, uh, uh, my, uh, my, basically my tiredness does. So my stamina is affected by my hunger. So if I can't fight, then I'm obviously going to be using magic as my offense and defense. So that's the whole reason I'm perking out magic points for now. Plus it's going to get very interesting once I, uh, start doing the werewolf and vampire stuff as well because yes i want my fucking gold 882 makes sense oh man okay well uh first of all skyrim is a great game it is the video game that got me back into video games uh i enjoy it it's it's janky because it's a bethesda game but you know its charm is still unmatched oh and we got a courier Hello. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Excellent. What did he give me? I have no idea what he even gave me. So, let's see. Anonymous letter. Is this it? Nope. I still gotta finish that too. Bounty. Nope. 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 Missing merchant. No, we've already opened that. Nope. Oh, okay. Apparently that's all I had to do. Let's see. Hold on. Third of Sun. Let's see. Mine recently discovered ancient tome in a forgotten cavern during a gathering expedition. A tome is likely nothing I've seen for a very long time. Uh, let's see. Creature summoned. As Molong Ball as my witness, I shall have a zombie horde at my command before long. This person's after my own heart. Uh, let's see. Nothing could have prepared me for the power I'm about to wield. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Willing to do my bidding in the power. Okay, alright, that's fine. There it is. Long ago, my ancestors built a great hall. Okay, so that's for the other house. Uh, we'll look into that here shortly. And then everything else. Excellent. So... Uh, let me... Go ahead and place my marker. <clears throat> oh man, this is gonna be a long trek. Uh, I do have a camping supply, so that's fine. The food I have on me should last. Alright, this is gonna be a very interesting journey. Actually, I should probably go ahead and eat food before I don't even need it anymore. Because it's still going to be a process to become a cannibal, I just don't 
go say, hey, I want to be a cannibal and I become a cannibal, I gotta do a small quest. Alright, Lightning, I hope you're uh, good to go, because that's what we're doing. Where is my marker? There it is. Actually, before I fuck up, there we go. Let's get some quick saves in. No, it isn't a mod. I'm not using any mods. What you see is basically, uh... Quote unquote, uh, it's, uh, I'm basically becoming a, uh, Daedric Prince over time. It'll take a long time. It's going to be a slow burn, but that's what it's going to be. So basically, the build is highly based off of magic resistance and absorption. But that's like the abilities. Hey, v vampires. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck off. God damn it. I ain't got time for your bullshit. Uh, but that's like the ability build, the actual character build, uh... Before, before it's over, and if it doesn't break, uh... I should... be a cannibal, a vampire, and a werewolf all at the same time. So... Basically, this character is like, the great consumer. Like, everybody thinks Alduin is the world eater, but they are wrong. If anybody knows the lore about fucking uh, Sithis and the Void, basically the Void lives inside uh, Ty Marilyn here. Her hunger can never be satiated. In fact, the very last thing I'm going to do in the playthrough is I'm literally going to go and kill and eat every human being the, that's not essential, quote-unquote, in Skyrim, and then that will be the end of the playthrough. But that's going to be a long time from now. Anybody worth their salt that plays Skyrim knows it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Yeah, f fuck all you Forsworn fucks. I don't give a fuck. I'm just passing through, don't mind me. Oh, whoa, whoa, we just fell through the... Okay. See what I mean about that good old Bethesda jink? Come on, Lightning, we gotta get the fuck out of here. This is not good. Hey, hey, fuck off. I know I'm bypassing a lot of battles, but that's not what we're gonna do. We are, uh, determined to become a cannibal before this stream is over. Well, yeah, get your, uh, get your education down, man. Uh, you know, that's what's important. In fact, I, I didn't, I didn't get to play Skyrim at all until, uh, after I was out of college. Which is one of the reasons I didn't play video games much anymore, you know? You gotta dedicate, uh, your time to other things. Okay, now hopefully I won't kill lightning in myself, but just in case I'm gonna quick save. Uh, lightning. Come on. Physics be damned, go! I know you can do it. Phase through, thank you. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, slowly, slowly, slowly. Lightning. Chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. Alright, here we go. Slowly descend. Uh, okay, we can, you know, defy the laws of gravity as well. Fuck it. I'm down with it. I'm trying to remember what stone we're walking up on. It, it may be the Lord Stone? I think we already found the Lady Stone. <laughs> Ah, 
Uh, but yeah, I'm not using any mods. Basically, I'm using uh, everything in the Creation Club that comes with the 10th Anniversary Edition and the standard uh, Special Edition of the game. Or I guess it's technically the Special 10th Anniversary Edition now, I guess. I don't know. But maybe some other day I'll use, uh, mods. Oh, the Lover Stone, okay. Which is still a good, uh, stone, but we're not gonna get it quite yet. We are gonna run away from this Saber Cat, though. Uh, before I fuck up, let me check my map. Yep, thought so. Well, fuck off, Saber Cat. Uh, oh, I'm on a PlayStation 5. Oh, whoop, whoop. Come on. I ain't got time for bandits. I ain't got time for it. Oh, I bet that's another one of the wild horses. Okay, I'll have to come back. Excellent, we should be here. <laughs> up, up. Please don't die, Lightning. Oh no, no, uh... Sony had my back. Sony literally gave me an exclusive offer to buy one. Like, I literally got an offer in uh, my Sony Direct email. It said, hey, we're, we'll offer you a PS5. So I clicked on the link, picked the one that I wanted, and uh, it was within my possession within three days. In my opinion, that's how Sony should have handled it with everybody. Anybody that has a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription should have had first pick. But that's just my opinion. I just don't see how that would fail. Because you, you already know you have the, the people that are interested in it. You know it's going to sell. Oh no! No! Fuck you! I, did, I gotta fucking save the girl! Get the fuck! Uh, Jesus! God damn it! <sighs> Alright, well, you know, I was gonna try to fucking save that bitch, but, uh... Old Dawnguard's dumbass had to stop me, so... Never mind that. Now fuck off! Now I know you must be thinking, well, if you're an evil character, why would you try to save the girl? Well, if I save the girl, then I could later betray her and power up a uh, Daedric artifact, which I'm going to have to do. So, me being nice to people is only so I can see the look of confusion and sadness in their face when I betray them and spill their blood at my feet. Alright, you Dawnguard piece of shit. You change your mind? The Dawn Guard could use somebody like you. Uh... I'll just go with sorry, I'm still That's not interested. Says, right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, talk to Ezron at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Ripton. Alright, that's all I needed was the location. Excellent. All right. So now we need to make it to the main palace. And then we need to try to go into the crypt. And then that should start our journey into our cannibalistic lifestyle. Because I'm pretty sure it's level 10. If it's not level 10, it's level 12. Then I'll be pissed because I came all the way out here for nothing. Because this is what this guy should be arguing with this priest what about. Are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, oh. you take away Talos. Now, you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? 
you and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Uh, I hate to sound like a sellout shill fuck or whatever, uh, but if you want to press all the buttons and do all the stuff, that'd be rad. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm a big tabletop RPG fan, uh, specifically, uh, the World of Darkness series. So, yeah, like, uh, I mean, what's the point of a role-playing game if you don't play the role, you know? Plus, full disclosure, I've been playing this since day of release, so I've been playing for the last ten years, so... I've, I've built a lot of different characters over the years, and, uh, tell you the truth, like, the last time that I played an evil character was my first playthrough, because I didn't really know what the fuck I was doing, so I was just kind of fucking off. Uh, but this character actually has a purpose, like, I have a, uh set list of goals like I have different paths that this character will eventually complete so like right now with me being kind to everybody is the path of infiltration and the reason I'm being kind to people is because later I'm gonna get a Daedric artifact called the Ebony Blade and it's powered by the blood of those who I deceive so the more people I do favors for the more people I have to kill, and, uh, the more powerful the Daedric Artifact, uh, becomes. Alright! So this crypt should be over here. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's do this! No, you can't go in there. Uh, why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Uh, let's see. Since we're evil, we're gonna try to do the intimidate option, but I don't think my speech skill is high enough to do this, so we're probably gonna end up paying him gold, which is fine. Uh, but we will go with the intimidate option. I don't like being ignored. Then my answer is the Hall of the Dead is closed. Yeah, I didn't think so. By the order of the Jarl, understand? <sighs> All right, let's see if I can persuade him then. Let's uh, change tactics. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. Excellent. We've discovered that some of the dead have been eaten. Ooh. The flesh has been chewed off. Mmm. Snapped to get at the marrow. Mm, my mouth we is watering. Hurt anyone or anything yet? It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of RK will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Uh, thank you, sir. Tread lightly in the hall. I don't think you belong here. Motherfucker, you just gave me the key. Fuck off. Blindly into a crypt, smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. You need to leave. Don't tell me he's about to fucking get me arrested. I feel the hunger inside of you, gnawing at you. You see the dead, and your you mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. I don't think you belong. It's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. You need to leave. Good. Let's let's do this. I wish this priest would fuck off. I'm about to murder him, but I need him for the quest. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? Yes. Your brother or sister had died. My parents. Of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Uh, let's see. Well, the only one that doesn't... Okay, Gil, what are the you talking about? Block out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. Good. There's a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Fantastic. Where is this place? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We will fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until Excellent. Then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. And she has nice invisibility uh, ability, and so do I. Ta-da! You need to leave. 
See, so there's more of that Bethesda jank. But Bethesda's gonna Bethesda. Oh, he didn't follow me outside. Okay, that's cool, I guess. You've returned. What happened in the Hall of the Dead? Uh, let's see. The Hall of the Dead is Lions safe now. You. You're a hero. Yeah. Reopen the yeah. Right away. I'm a real you hero. Take my amulet as a reward. As he hands her the amulet, she looks at it and almost wants to vomit in her mouth. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go. You here to see the yard. No, Actually, which necklace was it? Necklace of Arcade increases your health by 10 points. Yeah, we still will not be wearing that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and mark. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's happening. Okay. So, if I remember, we should have to clear out a small cave and then I need to come back and uh basically Jedi mind trick the fucking priest to follow me. And then we're going to more or less hypnotize the priest and then we're going to eat his flesh in the name of uh Namiro. Sounds like a good Saturday night. Gods. A woman attacked right on the street. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Right. Did you see what happened? Uh must have missed it. Sorry. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Uh no. No, uh is this your note? What does this mean? My note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Right. Okay. Until next time. Yeah, fuck off. Okay. I got things to do. Alright, Lightning. We have things to do. Fun fact for those who don't know. Uh... I don't want to say most of the merchants, but some of the merchants, including this man right here, uh, are in fact cannibals, and when we go to do our little uh, cannibalistic ritual here momentarily... I don't think I can. I think the note is a quest item, and typically you can't discard quest items uh, from your inventory, so I don't think it would even give me the option. Uh, so yeah, so a bunch of the merchants inside of, uh, Markoth are, uh, are cannibals. How far away is this? Yeah, well, uh, if I had a companion, I think I could trade it with my companion, but I'll get into exploits later when I'm doing them, because if we have enough time today, I will be performing an exploit today. So whenever I do an exploit... I will explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, I don't plan on using a fuck ton of them. Uh, maybe in another playthrough I'll put a bunch of mods in and start doing exploits. Uh, you know, just to kind of showcase them, but... I mean, you can look them up online. I'm sure there's plenty of fucking YouTube videos on them. Uh, but basically, Skyrim is broken. I'm surprised it even fucking runs at all. It's so goddamn broken, but... It's pretty fun, though, once you know what you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and move my custom marker. Here we go. And we're going to say, fuck physics, because horses can do that in Skyrim. Come on. Come on. Remember when Todd said, you see that mountain? You can go there. Well, you know what? We're going there. Okay, slow on the descent. Because I'm still not 100% sure if, if this horse being part of a Creation Club content uh, can die, but I don't want to risk it. 
Yeah, that's right. Tell gravity to go fuck itself. Thank you. All right. Oh, there's a stronghold. Excellent. I'll go ahead and get rid of this custom marker. We won't need it. All right. <clears throat> Also, I realize I'm skipping over a bunch of fucking alchemy ingredients, but, uh, I'll have to worry about that later. Fuck you, Saber Cat. We ain't got time for it. here and by the sound of the music it sounds like I am gonna still have to deal with that saber cat but first thing is first oh no we're good now you stay here lightning You've come. The yes of course the well we'll just have to clear those bitches out wait here I'll take care of then them wait. I don't need you getting in my fucking way uh, we will go ahead and, uh, harvest this imp stool. Of the undead. Yeah, no, I got it. I understand. Wait here. I'll take care of it. Actually, wait a minute. I want to see what her... Hmm. I want to see what her, her abilities are, so yes, I could use a hand. Yay, that's why you stopped me all three times. Excellent. Cool. Well... We'll go ahead and uh, sneak. We'll go ahead and pull out the Bow of Shadows. Alright, let's do this. Actually, while I'm thinking about it... Fire arrow, good. Especially against the undead. <clears throat> Draugr are below. Foul taste. Yeah, they've been dead far too long. Our our delegate pallets uh, won't won't accept that. Actually, mine will. Oh, okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. All right, let's see what you can do. You wanted to fucking you wanted to help so goddamn bad. Do it. Do it. Okay, she has she's basically a a a, a sword spell. Yeah, she's fucking worthless. I knew it. I knew she was gonna be fucking worthless. I will take your arrows, and I will take your monies and your jewels. Actually, it'll probably just be better if I go ahead and just start fucking roasting these bitches. I'm so glad you were so insistent just for you to get your fucking ass handed to you. See if I can get that long shot. Whoop, oh, never mind. Really? I didn't get the sneak damage booster on that? I'll take my fire arrow back, though. Really? This guy's just oblivious? Okay. Good enough for me. There it is. Okay, so she has some conjuration abilities. Okay, fine. Let 
me go ahead and uh, quick save. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna check over here first. <clears throat> Kill cam, got him. Excellent. Give me all the XP. Shit. I got impatient. Oh, yes, sir. We'll take that chest for sh for certain we will. Whoop. Whoop, wrong button. Sorry, I was playing Dying Light 2 last night and, uh... Yeah. Well, uh... uh yeah, the booby trap. I knew it. Uh, yeah, the more levels you gain, the longer it takes to level up. And I fucked up. Yeah, I noticed it a little too late, but it's all right, though. I think uh, Eola uh, finished them off. Get out of my way, Eola. Fuck. Jesus. Where, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, we got some iron ore here. Don't tell me you fucking despawned. Well... Okay. Whoop, there we go. Actually, I haven't brought Talbot out in a while. Thank you. Yola, you're not my real mom. You don't tell me what to do. All right. <clears throat> there we go. See if any one of these is the, uh... Hey, look at that. Oh, no, wrong book. Oh, it was, yes. Good. Yeah, the Ethereal Wars is the one that I need for the crown, and we will... Yes, sir, we'll take that. Because, uh... You can, uh... You can make one of three Ethereal items. Uh, the crown, in my opinion, is the best, because it gives you a, a second Standing Stone ability. Which, if... Uh, you put the Ritual Stone ability on the, uh... Crown... You can basically continuously summon undead armies, which I plan to do during the Civil War playthrough, but uh, for now, we'll just uh, have to be patient. Ha, huh, he took an arrow to the knee. Yeah, yeah, beat on your shield. Show me what a big tough man you are. Ah, I missed. Ah. 
Wow, now you pull out the big guns, Eola. Wow, I'm proud of you. Considering the first enemy that was a lower level than that just basically beat her ass, but so... Okay, maybe she just is a distant build. Yeah, I do too. Just tell me who needs to die. Quit being coy with me. Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him his gold. Tell him you need Arcae's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. She sure will. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out a torch here. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, I could disenchant that or sell it. It is a lot of weight, but fuck it, whatever. Is there any other goodies here? Many used to come to these caves. The forgotten, the wretched. I did loot his body, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Oh, here, here's Namira's little uh, shrine here. I like it. It's good stuff. All right, yeah, yeah, there it is. I was about to say, there should be, hey, look at this alternative armor set, the silver helmet. Excellent, we will be taking that. We will be taking that as well, and that. Uh, yeah, we can sell that for gold. Okay, that's fine. So what else do we have here before I skedaddle? <clears throat> so my original plan was to sacrifice my uh, spouse to uh, Boethia when the time came, and I was going to remarry, but apparently, uh, in Skyrim, hold on, I'm going to pause and drink me some water, uh, apparently in Skyrim, you can only get married once, <clears throat> which sucks, because I was going to basically sacrifice a spouse, and then I was going to get remarried, and that way I could still get the, uh, the gold from having a, a merchant spouse or whatever. So... Uh, I guess what I'll do is I will still sacrifice my spouse to Boethius, uh, you know, in true evil fashion. Uh, but I guess it will be, uh, Eola here that I'll sacrifice. One, one Daedric, uh, worshiper... Sacrifice to another Daedric Lord. I think uh, Boethia would like that. But that'll be later. All on good time. This plate there's gonna be a slow burn, but things are gonna get very interesting after today. Still, depending on how much time I have today, which I doubt I'll have the time today, but, uh, I get- Hey, I knew I'm- see? See? Uh, probably next weekend, I'll go ahead and get rid of this fucking 25-pound dragonstone that's in my inventory, taking up a lot of space. And we'll go ahead and release the dragons into the mix, but, uh, it'll still be quite a while before I continue that, uh, storyline because there are still many things to do yet
Hey, hey, that's that's fucked up. That's rude, Saber Cat. Just gonna have to wait your turn. Really? A fucking assassin wants to deal with this shit? Okay. No, you have to wait your turn too, friend. Appeasing a Daedric Lord is, uh, top of my priority. Let's go ahead and discover this farm real quick. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Lightning, you be good. Oh, preacher, 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 man. I need your assistance. Never leave the house. Caught the case of rock joint once. Othella and the hex cure fixed me right up. Yeah, thanks. Hold on, I'm, I'm listening to this conversation because it should give me a side quest. Why are you and Papa fighting? Because people are dying, little girl. Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama and Papa will talk beef in the reach. This guy. This guy, he's a cannibal. So this guy, the guy that runs the, uh, the, uh, stable, he's a cannibal. Uh, I don't think she's a cannibal. Uh, I think there's, like, two, two more cannibals in here. And fuck this guy, we don't want to talk to him just yet, so we're just gonna give him a wide berth. <clears throat> really? Or maybe he's just in the Hall of the Dead. Yeah, okay. He's just in the Hall of the Dead. Oh, preacher man! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your, your uh, <clears throat> prayer. That's what RK provides. Uh, let's see. I have need of a priest in my travels. You are looking for RK's protection while you delve some yeah. The tomb. Yeah, yeah, sure. My duties keep me busy at Markarth. RK's protection, my ass. Uh, let's see. We already tried to intimidate once, and that failed. And I uh, know I didn't gain any speech XP, so we'll we'll try to persuade. I guess persuade doesn't technically mean that it's not an evil thing. There would be treasure to share. You know, in the priesthood of RK, we have a joke about an empty pocket being better than a full grave. <sighs> okay, we'll try to intimidate. You're coming with me now. I think you need to calm down before I summon the guards. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm willing to pay. It's no small amount of coin, friend. I suppose. Hey, I just got a trophy, Snake Tongue. Adventure. Excellent. Lead on. Yeah. What a very dedicated priest you are to bend your will to coin like that. I'm sure your God appreciates that. Yeah, it was terrible. It was horrible.
entire Maryland tries her best to keep from shaking from all the excitement she knows she's about to endure. Yeah, this guy. This guy is a cannibal. I forget the other two. But we're about to meet him, so no worries. Sorry, priest, you're gonna have to walk it. I'm sure you will be fine. RK will protect you and all. Oh, is there a back way into this cave? Okay. Interesting. I did not... ...know that? Cool. Secret entrance. As Ty Marilyn steps through the door, she hears a voice in her head that tells it is her time. And then her stomach growls. Oh, nice to see they've already, uh, decorated the place. They were expecting me. Oh, yes. Very good, very good. Hey, friends! I'm here! So, yeah, these three right here, these two, and her over here. What's going on? Priest of RK, I'm your friend. Yes. Friend. We are friends. Yes. I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. We are friends. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. We are Why friends. Don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready. I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. It sure is. So yeah, these two I right here. My first feast. I envy you. And her over here are actually so uh, merchants. Because we can say, wait, I know you. One of my customers? Did you know I inherited the store from my late husband? Shame what happened to him. He had such good taste. Mm, so Lizbeth is one. I remember my first feast. And we I got Banny here. He's the guy who runs the, uh... The, uh... The, uh, stable. You buy a war dog for me? There's a reason why my hounds are so eager to bite into people. Now this is going to be a good feast. And then we have Hogney Red Arm here, which is the butcher. Now this is going to be a good feast. Wait, I know you. The bloodiest beef in the reach. <laughs> good one, friend. Good one. All right, let's fucking do this. Now these two uh, folks over here, they're just random NPCs. They're just basically followers. You've brought us quite the meal. I think they forever stay in uh, ah, this cave. Disciple. I hear you have quite the appetite. It's funny, I don't remember them having names. I could have sworn they were just called disciples before, but I guess they updated it, maybe. I don't know. Yes, let's do this! Ty Marilyn smiles on the inside. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do this. You should be the one to carve. Yes, I should be the one to carve. Don't mind me. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll double fist up in this bitch. Whoa, I thought... Okay, I only have one. I thought... Okay, no, that's my hotkey command. Sorry. My bad. There we go. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not... Let's not be fucking... Nope. No dagger. Alright, never mind. 
Let's do it. Yes. He looks so sweet. Go ahead. Have the first bite. Here it is. It has now begun. The first step toward our Daedric Lord. Princedom. Oh, Lord yes. Mira, the Lady of Decay. Uh, Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arke's own is pleasing to me. You have no idea. I give you my ring. And this is Wear what we it. wanted. And when you feast on the flesh of the dead, I will grant you my power. You goddamn right you will. Thank Walk you, my lady. In your wretchedness, my newest champion. I shall. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. You have no idea. Okay, cool. Here we go. All right, Ring of Nemera. Let's put this bitch on. Favorite it. So basically, what happens? The Ring of Nemera, like it says in its description, stamina is increased by fifty points while wearing it. So all those levels, when I do the twenty eighty ratio, like all those points went into health and and magic. All right, well, boom. That's like having five levels worth of stamina all at once. So, it also says feeding on corpses grant you increased health and health regeneration. So, if I remember correctly, what it does is it gives you 50 health points per corpse and it raises your health regen by 50% per corpse. So, now that we have this ring and we still have plenty of time... We are going to go ahead and we are going to head to Falkreath so we can go ahead and do our first exploit. Uh, it's only while you eat uh, a corpse. So it's, it's not permanent, but it will happen every time you eat the corpse. So we're going to head to Falkreath because in Falkreath there is a quest that's related to a Daedric quest... Uh, I think it's called By the Moonlight or uh, Met by the Moonlight or something like that. Well, anyway, this guy who is a werewolf is imprisoned in the Falkreath prison and he has a cursed ring of hair seen. So, from what I understand, if I'm wearing the ring of Namira. When I accept the cursed ring of hair scene from him, it automatically it automatically unequips the ring of Namira, and it automatically equips the cursed ring of hair scene, which I can't take off until the curse is broken. But because of that, it supposedly permanently gives me the power of the ring of Namira, even if I'm wearing it or not. So that is the first exploit that we are going to do. So we are going to do that now. Actually, first I'm going to stop by my farm, then we're going to head to Falkreath. So that is the first major exploit we are going to do in this playthrough. Yes. I knew when you walked into the hall. Okay, Jesus. Iola, you're you're and fucking up. You are, champion of Nimira, yeah, that's right. Of her ring. You're everything I hoped you'd be. Soon you will be bowing down. Thank you, Iola, for it's everything. Honor, Feel free to stay and mingle with your new coven. Yeah, well, how about this? How about you, uh, follow Go me? Ahead. Eat. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Excellent. All right, Iola. It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Namira spoke to you. I knew this feast was going to be something. You were given Namira's ring? A great honor. Yeah. Oh, oh, you wait, my brethren. You wait. So we have done it, and it just so happens, if you notice my stamina bar, I'm already hungry. Yes, soon all these motherfuckers will be bowing down and begging me not to kill them and eat their flesh. But that's later. That's That comes way later. Because, uh, RK, you're in for a surprise when I start becoming a vampire lord and such. 
Which, becoming a vampire lord and a werewolf at the same time is another exploit, which, uh, I've heard, uh, can break certain things, which hopefully it won't, because if it does break the game to the point where I, it's unplayable, then I gotta choose one or the other. And, uh, I'd rather be a vampire lord than a werewolf. There's so many more benefits for it. But we'll see, that's, that's still a long time from now. But, uh, if I do run across a normal vampire, I'm going to take this opportunity to drink some more water. Uh, if I run across a normal vampire, not a vampire lord, or the Harkin bloodline, if you want to call it that, uh, and I <clears throat> obtain the vampire disease, I will not cure myself of the disease. I'll go ahead and let it take its course, which will also add another uh, layer of challenge to the game, but it also gives me a second... Uh, alternative on how to feed so not only can I feed off the corpses of my fallen enemies but I can also drink blood so that's two ways I should be able to feed because starting now now that I am Namira's champion we will no longer eat food to sustain our hunger even in the most dire of situations it will not happen So hopefully I don't soft lock myself, but I will find a way. And we still got a level waiting on us too. An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Bitch, you already know what's in there. God damn it, Eola. I'm already regretting having you as a companion. Whoa, wait a minute. Where's my horse? Take a look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Where the fuck is lightning? Oh yeah, she's on the secret fucking thing. God damn it. All right, we're hoping it on foot then. We will meet back with lightning later. So, uh, the farm isn't that far. And since we already pissed off all these reachmen along the way, I guess we'll go an alternative way. We'll actually go through the body of water. That'll be smart. And there's another stronghold over here. Excellent. Oh no, that's the fucking creation clubhouse. Okay, we can go. Yeah, okay, we can kill two birds with one stone. Excellent. That's what we'll do. Plus, I am hungry anyway. I'll take, uh. I'll take note from my Argonian friends, and we will travel by water. The only thing we'd have to deal with is the slaughter fish, and that's really not that bad. Actually, I need to make sure I'm pointed in the right direction. We are. Uh, damn, that's so close. Hell, maybe this will be the place to, to store my loot. Or at least I can transfer my loot from here to here until I get Shadowfoot Sanctum, so... That's not that far. I can deal with that. Yola, you about died. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talbot, do your thing. Who the fuck is this random asshole? Is he a Reachman? Get him, Talbot! Or you can run away, goddamn it, Talbot, you're fucking useless. Oh, this motherfucker has flaming familiar? Holy shit, or is that Eola? I don't know what your problem is, nameless wood elf, but you're gonna die and I'm gonna eat your flesh. Oh, yes! Oh, that's such a good kill animation. It is time to eat. We will search him first. I will take his bow, I will take his arrows, I will take his potions. I will take his armor. I will take those too, fuck it. I'll take all your shit. Now let's feed. 
Oh, it's so good. Ah, uh, I am now satisfied in more ways than one. Now I want to. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Calm it down. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very aware. Appreciate it, though. No, I, I couldn't tell if he was a Reachman from a distance or if he was a bandit, but he was just a nameless elf, which is pretty much the same thing. The question is, why did he attack us? I'm not sure if he attacked us because we were using magic or what. Uh... Because normally what happens if it's like a nameless wood elf like this or an, or, uh, um, an orc or whatever, They'll walk up to you, they'll pass by, they'll insult you, they'll call you a milk drinker, and you tell them to fuck off, and then you get, a. Uh, uh, he's a wood elf. Yeah, well, well, yeah, fuck high elves are the Thalmor anyway, but, uh, this gentleman's a wood elf here. Yeah, yeah, the Mers, yeah. Pointy-eared fucks, but uh, ju just just so you know, we're Britain, so we're we're half elf, so you know, we're kind of caught in between worlds. Yeah, they call you a milk drinker. I wish you could call him a lick spittle back, cause it would you know it would fit the universe and it would be nice. Yeah, no, I understand that. I've been, I've been, I've been playing since day one. Appreciate it, though. Appreciate it. I understand. I was more concerned on if he was a Reachman or not, because we are in that uh, that territory. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Uh, we're, we're only using certain exploits, though. Uh, n no, not yet. We're, we're not that far along yet. I'm just now a level 11, and a lot of that was, uh, getting my farm set up. Uh, yeah, in good time. In good time. Right now, it's more about the, the roleplay aspect of this, uh, playthrough. Uh, we don't need that pelt. We're good. Actually, let me check my weight. Yeah, we're still pretty good. Well, I went with Bretton because of their, uh, magic resistance. Because, uh, eventually I'll get the, uh, Archonaut Stone, and then some other perks and stuff. And I'll basically be able to either, uh, ignore or absorb all the magic that hits me. Uh, I mean, sure, they, they probably are because they're, they're a higher, uh, skill level. Uh, we are definitely going to be stealing from this, uh, shrine of this false god here. Because, uh, fuck the Aedra. We, we care not for the Aedra. The Aedra is our sworn enemies. Wow. I think Eola just brings out the worst in people, because we're literally just murdering, like, just normal people like this hunter. Uh, we don't need that wine, and we don't need this meat anymore. In fact, uh, sir, you can have all this food. You can have all of it. We no longer need it. I will be eating him, Scarecrow. Yeah, I'll take that. It's going to be very weird not taking food out of inventories. I've been doing it so long. All right, let's feed. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. I've been I've been playing for ten years. I I understand the base mechanics. I got it. Appreciate it though. Yola, uh. If you're gonna just be attacking every innocent motherfucker, I'm gonna have to tell you to fuck off for a little bit, cause uh, I still gotta play nice. Yeah, I'm a wild cannibal animal. Now, Eola, 
I need you to be cool. Can you be cool? Because if I would have known you are going to be just like Cicero, I would have waited. I need you to be cool, alright? Jesus. We're not even home yet. Uh, well, it looks like she's battle-hardened. It looks like that, uh, at some point in time, she, uh, may have had some damage to her eyeball. Oh, fear not. I will, uh, in fact, make mistakes, but I'm gonna try to keep, uh, her alive until I sacrifice her to Boethia. Yeah. Well, I mean, apparently it, it it didn't mess her up. She quite enjoys it, as I do. Or the character does. I need to, I need to make clear divides between me and the character. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I fucked up. I literally shot that right in front of me. Okay, well... Uh, the wolves are f fucking off, which is fine with me, I guess. Another thing I was wondering about with that wood elf... Somebody conjured a flaming familiar... Which is, uh, a unique, uh, summon. So, I don't know if that was, uh, Eola or if that was that random wood elf. I'm gonna guess it was Eola. But, actually... If it is Eola... I wonder if she has the spell book. Namiro, watch over you, champion. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? Well, at least she doesn't complain like Lydia. That's good. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, maybe. We'll see what she has. You call yourself a cannibal, and you have food in your inventory. Fuck off! Fucking poser! Jesus! You're definitely getting sacrificed to Boethia now. That's- that's- that's all I needed to see. That's all I needed to see was this. Fuck you, fucking poser. Fuck off. Let's get going now. Oh, oh, I'm gonna sacrifice you so hard. Yeah, no, no, fuck that. We're not having that. Not here. Now I want to know what happened to these wolves. Oh, oh, here we go. Where are they? Actually, wait a minute. Ha ha. Really? We're, we're that far away? Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. Sure. You know what, Eola, how about you take care of it? You can keep your pelts. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, little, 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 little pooch? Little, little poochie? Where'd you go? Alright, well, never mind. Oh, wow. I got so involved with all our bullshit. Here we go. I've lost sight of what we're doing. Right on. Well, what's your major? What, what are you going to school for, RK? We don't have lightning. Actually, we could probably try to make that. Alright. Here we go with some classic Skyrim mountain climbing. Nice! That's, uh, that's a decent paying job. Good luck with it. Ah, uh, come on. You always gotta find that one spot. There we go. Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on, there has to be a little flat area somewhere. Are you serious? Really? Come on, it's gotta be somewhere. Oh, oh, Jesus. I lost all my progress. Son of a bitch. Alright, fuck it, we're going around. God damn it, lightning. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's a decent paying job. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, just over time, man. Uh, I went to school for audio engineering. Uh, and trust me, I didn't... <laughs> I had no fucking idea what I was doing in the beginning, but, uh, once you're, once you're actually using the skill, uh, you know, r practical learning is the best for me, anyway. Because some people are audible learners, some people are visual learners. I'm what you call a kinetic learner. I have to do the task. Uh, with my hands, uh, that's how I learn best. So, the more you do it, the thing you'll you'll figure out more things. All right, we are back. Also, I just realized on my farm. Uh, when I become a vampire, I'm gonna be able to feed off of Feindal and the the helpers. That's gonna be fantastic. That'll save me a lot of time. Hey, 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 what the fuck? Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck you! No, 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 we're about to die. We're about to die. Holy fuck, please tell me I got a health potion. Okay, there's that. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to get the fuck out of here as soon as we can. Oh. Run, run, damn it, run! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, God damn you, Saber Cat! Get the fuck off my ass! <sighs> Alright, we're gonna have to go ahead and get healing uh, prepared. I'm almost there, come on! Feindal, you fucking worthless piece of shit! I have no stamina. Oh, wait a minute, who- what the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, let me quick save before I fuck up. Is Eola taking care of the saber cat? Yeah, alchemy will come in time. I just haven't been picking a lot of alchemy ingredients because I've uh, been riding a horse and to stop every, like, you know, fucking foot just to hop off the horse to get some alchemy is just a huge pain in the ass, so I've just uh, passed over it. Okay, I hear something, but there... okay. Damn, Aola, you're, you're, you're kind of busted sometimes, you know what? We're gonna have to hook you up with some uh, better gear. I don't give a fuck about the wolves, what about that saber cat? He's got a saber cat eye that I want, and a saber cat tooth. Well, never mind. Fuck it. Whoop. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing, uh, those kind of exploits in this playthrough. Uh, in another playthrough I'll do all the crazy exploits, but in this one, uh, there's very few exploits I want to do. Um, speaking of, we're about to do our first exploit. But, uh, me and Eola got a scissor real quick. Yeah, eight hours, please. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Ta-da! Yeah, the the character, but 
me breaking boundaries like that, that's me as a, a player doing exploits. Like, you'll... you'll see. Like, I could do that, but there's... I mean, basically, there's easier exploits I can do, but... Yeah, so... Character and the player, two different things. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get our health. Alright, so... Uh... Hopefully, we should be getting a conjure sword pretty soon, so that'll be fine. Excellent. Alright. Where is our fucking slave Feindal? Hmm. Yeah, well, we're doing survival mode, so there really isn't a lot of fast and easy. Like, there's no fast travel, there's none of that shit. I mean, there's fast travel through the the uh, the stables, so it's basically like Morwood. And Morwood, you couldn't fast travel either. You could only move by the Silk Striders, so... Where the fuck is my slave? Feindal, you fucking have all my gold! This is gonna be a slow burn. No, no quick and easies here. Feigned all, where are you? You worthless fucking worm. There you are. I'm feeling sick. Riverwood's agreeable enough. Give me my fucking gold. Thank you. Uh, let's see, I don't need a horse. Mm -hmm. I need my horse is what I need. So he just said we look sick. Yeah, uh, Morwood, like, I... I never got to completely finish Morwood, like, uh... See, I, I started backwards, basically, like... I played Skyrim first, and then I played that for a number of years, and then eventually I got a hold of Oblivion, and then fell in love with that. Oh, well, a lot of stuff's going on in the chat. Hold on, give me one second. Oh yeah, that saber cat fucked me up. Okay, well that's fine then. I should have a cure disease somewhere. <laughs> yeah, could have been something I ate. Well, well, fun fact, uh, yeah, good one, Scarecrow. Uh, fun fact, since I am now a cannibal, uh, like, certain NPCs like guards will actually, uh, comment on, like, things like, what have I been eating, you know, shit like that, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so, I, yeah, I've played Oblivion all the way through, like, maybe twice, maybe three times, because I remember the first character I made on Oblivion was an Argonian. I love Argonians, they're my favorite beast race. Anyway, I made an Argonian, and his whole deal was, he was a drunkard, and he he basically like my my RP rules for him were like he had to he had to be drunk all the time like he always had to have the effect of alcohol in his system and I played like that for a while and then through you know the good nice little random events I found the the arena and basically like uh, I did so well in the arena that the character became sober, and, like, that was the turning point in that character's, like, storyline, where he came in as a drunk, he literally wanted to fight in the arena just so he could make some quick gold so he could be drunk, and then he did so well that, you know, uh, he slowly became the fucking, the arena champion, and, uh, he sobered up, and then he eventually became, uh, the uh, Night of the Nine and all that jazz, so... Uh, Oblivion was really fun. And then, later I got Morwood because I found out that... Morwood would actually play in my 360. Um, so I got all excited about that. And... I played it, and then I got to the point where... My character was so fucking fast, because I had the, blue, the Boots of Blinding Speed... 
but I was also a Briton, and then I had a bunch of buffs that basically, uh, you know, absorbed magic. So when I put on the Boots of Blinding Speed, I my screen didn't go black. It was like I put on sunglasses. Like, I could still see perfectly. It was just a little dim. Uh, so I was moving so fast, and then my acrobatics was so high that I could jump so fucking far that I would have to use, like, softball before I touched the ground or I would die. So, my character, the only character, mind you, that I've had in Morrowind, uh, moved so fucking fast that the map couldn't keep up with me, and the map wouldn't load in in time, and I would fall through the, the world and crash the game. So later, when I got an Xbox One, uh, I got it because, you know, I was told that you could play Morrowind and Oblivion on it or whatever. Uh, the only reason I have any Xbox consoles is literally to play Elder Scrolls, uh, cause, uh, anyway, I'll get into that story later, another time, any anyway. Uh, so I was like, fuck yeah, I can transfer my character from my 360 to my Xbox One and Morrowood, cause I put so much time in it. And Morrowood isn't like fucking Oblivion and Skyrim where they give you, you know, quest markers and shit like that, like, you know, you gotta just fucking figure shit out. And I'm talking, I put, like almost a year and a half in this character, like, dedicated to this one character. I was not playing any other game other than Morrowood. And, of course, it was the only fucking save file that I couldn't transfer. So, you know, I got an Xbox One in the hopes of continuing that character because the Xbox One should be able to load information faster than my 360, but, yeah, I couldn't transfer the character, so. Anyway... Let me check chat real quick. Uh, I'm not sure if this home has a shrine on the inside, but I will look. I, actually, in fact, I will not do that. This character would rather die than pray to a shrine. Morrowood's on PS4? Oh, I guess you have the, the PlayStation Play Now or whatever. Yeah, the Standing Stones and Oblivion? Holy fuck. Uh, after my first playthrough of Oblivion, uh, I made a silent tank. And basically, the character started out as a unarmed hand-to-hand -hand monk of Mara. And then she eventually got, uh, <clears throat> I forgot how, how the situation came to be, but basically she got trapped in a cave full of vampires. And then she became a vampire because, uh, for some reason I couldn't, I couldn't escape the cave within the, the three days before the, the infection took me completely. So I just kind of ran with it in the story or the RP aspect. So, like, from that point on, like, you know, she kind of... I wouldn't say she became, like, a Daedric worshiper, but she became a, an atheist, more or less, because Mara didn't save her from her fate. Uh, but what's really funny is I, uh... All my Zigil stones from the Oblivion Gates were chameleon, so I was 100% chameleon, which means I was completely invisible no matter what I did. And, you know, I got I got so used to playing like that, that when I got to the quests where you gotta deal with the moth priests that are blind, and it and it didn't even fucking matter that I was invisible because they were blind anyway, and they'd kick my ass. Uh, I thought it one, I thought it was funny, but two, I thought it was really cool because the game, the game still had a surprise waiting for me, even though I thought I just completely broke it, you know. So. Anyway, yeah, Morrowind and Oblivion are, are great games, and Skyrim is also a great game. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we'll get back into that. Sorry, I had to get on my little soapbox here. So we will not pray to a shrine, because this character would rather fucking die than do that. So I'm gonna check my chest here and see if we got a cure disease. Actually, in fact, let me see what this disease actually is doing to me. Okay. Magic recovers half as fast. Okay.
Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I can go on tangents, man. Like, uh, Elder Scrolls, like, like I said, the, the only reason I own Xbox consoles is because of fucking Elder Scrolls. Like, uh, because I had saved up money to get a PS3, and I had been playing Skyrim at a buddy's house on his Xbox, and they just released the Dongar DLC. And, uh, I walked into GameStop, you know, I was ready to buy Herod it. Uh, no, that's Cure Poison. Uh, I'll take that with me anyway. Uh, anyway, so, like, I had my money ready. Uh, you know, I walked up to the counter, I was like, yeah, I'd like a PS3 and a copy of Skyrim for PS3. And, uh, as he was, you know, getting the items for me, I was like, man, yeah, I can't wait to continue to play in Dawnguard. Because I've been playing at a buddy's house, and you know, I I, I just can't wait because you know I, I I didn't get so I didn't get far enough in the story to become a vampire lord yet, and that's what I wanted to do. And uh, the guy just looked at me, and he was like, he was like, you do realize that the DLCs for Skyrim are, uh, you know, exclusive to Xbox for like the first like nine months or whatever. And, like, as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, uh, you can go ahead and put that PS3 back on the shelf. Give me a fucking Xbox, because I gotta continue my story, you know. So, I do not have a potion of cure disease other than that, or I've, uh, skimmed over it. Hey, here we go. Fuck yeah. Rad. Cool. Hold on. Let me check the chat. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, tell you the truth, like, I, when it comes to, like, do I prefer PCs over consoles, like, my, my whole deal is, I don't care if you use a mouse and keyboard, I don't care if you use a controller, I don't care what machine you run your shit off of, I don't give a fuck if it's a, you know, a console or a PC, hell, I don't even give a fuck if it's pencil and paper and a set of dice, if, if you enjoy playing a video game, or a game in general, just do what you enjoy. Do what works for you. Like, if Matt were here, uh, he would give me a bunch of shit because he has a PC and I do not. And, you know, he plays the whole Master Race card just to get under my skin. And it's kind of, you know, one of our little funny quips that we have back and forth. But, I mean, it's really, you know, it, it depends on what you're you're trying to accomplish. Like... I guess, you know, if... I mean, to, to be totally honest, like, I, I prefer tabletops more than anything else. Because your imagination is so much more powerful than anything that, you know, any machine can make. Like, your imagination takes you there. And as long as you got a good, you know, storyteller or a host, depending on the game that you're playing, you're, you're in for a great time. Like, tabletops are where it's at. So, and, you know, so that's my opinion when it comes to that. Well, uh, we could, we could do that, but that's, that's, we were not doing this with this character. Uh, I made the rule, as soon as we became a cannibal, food is no longer an option. Which reminds me, I got a bunch of fucking food in this chest that I'm gonna have to take care of uh, at some point too, so... That's part of the challenge, that's part of why I set up the rules like this, because I knew, you know, things were going to be a little bit more challenging, so we're going to stick with that. But, before I drink this Cure Disease Potion, we're just going to hang on to it for a bit, and we're also going to hang on to this Cure Poison. We will get rid of some of these. I know this is like the fifth time I've walked out of this fucking house, but give me a second. My brain can only do so much at a time, and when I start... Uh, going in my tangents, my brain doesn't work properly. Plus, I used to smoke a bunch of weed, and my brain uh, doesn't work all that well anyway. Uh, let's see here. Put all this away. Okay, we do have the camping supply. Oh, I can put that down in the uh, the other thing. I'll hang on to that because it's not that I got stolen gold. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Damn, I still got all this shit too. 
that's fine. The rest of this can go into my little smithing chest here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta check my pantry. Oh, wow, I completed a farmer's life for me. Excellent. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Did I not? Hey, I finally got some blister wart. Cool. We'll go ahead and make a health potion real quick. <clears throat> Ta-da! Okay. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Yeah, fuck off, Fandolf. You're my slave forever. Yeah, well, eventually everything on my farm is going to be nothing but blister war. But for now, uh, just to get some gold generated, I just planted random shit. Uh, but soon, uh, blister war will be the only thing that I have planted. Yes. It should give me the most gold per day. Okay, so what are we doing now? Oh yeah, well, yep. Yeah. We are putting this stuff away in my smithing chest. So we are going to do that. Just to get it out of the inventory. I'm still 156 pounds? What the fuck? What am I carrying? I bet it's my fucking arrows. Oh, I still got all this other shit too. Fuck. Okay, I'll just have to dump it. Mm. Uh, well, in survival mode, they do weigh. See, 0 0.1. In survival mode, the, the weight uh, is different. And these are already filled up with wheat and, uh, tundra cotton. You said there's another little small port next to the smith? You mean all this? Yeah, we're playing survival mode. In fact, I like survival mode so much it's hard to play Skyrim without it anymore. Um, but that's just me. Okay, well, uh, shit. We got 30 minutes, so that won't be enough time for the exploit. So I guess what we'll do is I'll go ahead and dump all this equipment, and then we will... I'll go ahead and dump those zeros, too. Um, we will go ahead and unlock the other Creation Club home, or one of the other Creation Club homes. That should be fine. I mean, I keep all arrows, it's just a force of habit, but uh, the fire arrows are where it's at. Those are my favorite by far. Uh, I won't even drop that in the chest. Uh, yeah, that one. Hin Hindernheim. Uh, that way I can go ahead and move all this loot to the other house, and then by the time we get done with that, um, it should be time to end the stream. And then next week... Oh yeah, it's a great house, especially once you start collecting all the pets of Skyrim. Holy fuck. Because <sighs> it's, it's massive. It'll, it'll let you keep all your uh, pets in there. So, we're going to get rid of this little amulet here, because we do not give a rat's ass about it. Ba ba! Oh, I thought that was going to fall into nothingness. That's fine. Maybe one of my farm hands will pick it up and then I can beat them later for wearing it. Okay, so... We will go ahead... and go back to the marker. Yeah, I mean, the Dwarven House, like, I haven't got to check that out yet. Uh, I mean, I hear it's pretty cool, but, you know. I hear the little, like, animatronics, uh, the, the, the robots or whatever, 
uh, inside of it are pretty cool, but, uh, I mean, I will eventually get it. It's part of one of the paths that this character is going to take, which is the path of domain, which is basically to, to buy all the, uh, properties in Skyrim. Um... So, I will eventually get it, but for this character, I mean, I don't think I'll be spending a much, much time there. Now, the Vampire Castle, the new Vampire House that came with the 10th Anniversary Edition, the new Necromancer Home. Oh, this fucking Saber Cat did not die! And he still sees me, even though I'm supposed to be invisible, so... Yolo, where the fuck are you? I, I need your assistance. Goddamn, this thing's right on my fucking ass. All right, you little bastard. I don't even think splash damage got that fucker. Jesus. There we go. Finally. Give fuck, Saber Cat. Yeah, apparently there's something sweet in it. Like the blessing of Daedra Lords. Yeah, I'll take that pelt. Oh, he didn't have an eyeball. That's fine, though. I would like to know where the fuck Eola is, though. I'm really glad this house is so close to the fucking the the Golden Hills plantation. It's gonna make transfer and all that shit so much easier for now. And I also gotta recover lightning. There she be. Really? Okay. Get wrecked. Yeah, I'm interested to, to check out Blood Chill Manor for certain. Because, uh... I think that'll be... Well, depending on how, how many steps I gotta go through to get inside of it. Because I can't fast travel with survival mode, so... If it's going to be a big pain in the ass just to get to the house... Then, uh... We'll see. Because I, I need to have at least one house... Where I can put all my loot. I don't really care to, like, you know, really live there. I just need a place, uh... Where I can store all my loot. Then I have a different home... Where I will put my children, uh, which I think will be Bloodchill Manor, uh, but maybe not. Because uh, I'm thinking Shadowfoot Sanctum would be the best place to put my... Uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, geographically, like, if, if it's, like, for example, I'm not sure where the, the house is, but if it's, like, somewhere, you know, out here in bumfuck nowhere, and, you know, I'm spending a lot of time down here in the map, I'm not gonna fucking walk all the way, you know, travel all the way just to get there, so, which is part of, which is part of the point of the Path of Domain, is so I... I literally have all the property, so no matter where I'm at on the map, I should have a place relatively close, you know? Oh, well still, like, since I can't fast travel there, like, I don't know, I don't know how many loading screens I need to go through 
to to get there you know what i mean so but we'll see we'll see because let me quick save here okay well i'll i'll see whenever i i get the uh quest unlocked but it'll still be a minute for that. Uh, where the fuck is Eola? Like, uh... Alright, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll check it out. We'll check it out when, when we get there. Uh, cause after I do this exploit, which we'll have to wait till next week, uh, I think I'm gonna do the College of Winterhold stuff first. So that way I can at least, uh get my hands on some good uh spell books so i can go ahead and at least because now now that i'm a cannibal you know if i'm hungry and i don't have a corpse to feed on then you know tough shit for me so i'm going to be relying a lot more on my magic now than anything else the only reason i'm even doing physical attacks and other things is because i have to Get to a natural level 81 first before I start surpassing that by doing the legendary options. So, you know. And it just makes more sense for me to use everything at my disposal slowly over time. As opposed to making a specific build until like I'm level 40 or something and then I, I can't get any more XP from just playing the build. So then I gotta switch over and play a, a whole different build, which I, I don't agree with, so... I'm just trying to use everything a little bit at a time to naturally get to 81. Archmage Chambers, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. But it's mostly... It's mostly for the Archmage Robes, the uh, Circlet of Magic, and the Garter Amulet. Uh, which are the rewards after that, but other than that, it's just like, just to hone my magic skills. Plus, it's the only place that you can get the master spells and, and all that, so I want to I wanna go ahead and do the College of Winterhold first uh, in this playthrough, and then after that, depending on if I have been, uh, you know, if I've contracted vampirism through other means other than the Dawn Guard quest, then I'll probably come back and do the uh, the Companions quest first, so I can go ahead and get all that werewolf shit out of the way, and then later I can be turned into a vampire lord uh, afterwards. So anyway, okay, well let's quick save again. Let's get ready to kill this bitch, which I know she's a pretty tough fight. And I don't really have much on me, but nonetheless, we are going to fight her. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw out the old flames. Yes? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Just for the character, we're going to go ahead and say this. We're going to be a dick. Are you the fool who challenged me? I haven't played in years before the anniversary edition, so I got stuff at random times, like Blood Chill Manor. Well, from what I understand, the Blood Chill Manor wasn't released until the 10th Anniversary Edition. Because I, I owned all the Creation Club content up until they released the 10th Anniversary, and then I got the rest of the 10th Anniversary, and I'm pretty sure Blood Chill Manor is, the, is part of the, the, the new content. I'm actually pretty... I'm like 99.9999 percent sure of that so anyway are you the fool who challenged me that is so yeah good let's do this i want to fucking kill you and eat your flesh yeah let's do it oh yeah she's a tough bitch Holy fuck, there's a goddamn bear! Holy fuck! <laughs> okay. Alright, well, you know. I'll, I'll take all the help I can get, I guess. Holy shit! Wow. 
what what a happy turn of events that was. No, nope, nope. There was no escaping here. Oh, I see. I got I got what you're saying. So yeah, we're gonna take all this shit. Cause it doesn't even matter. Cause we're we're about to fucking stuff it all in here anyway. And now we will eat her ass. We're eating her ass right here, right now. Yeah, bye, Felicia. I got what you're saying though. Uh, about the the random uh note. Yeah, I got you. Actually, we're gonna do one better. Want to throw your dead ass off this fucking mountain here? I tell you what, I'm glad that bear came out of nowhere and kind of saved my ass. Also, uh, does anybody notice that you can see through her fucking her legs and her her belly here? Good job, Todd. You did a great job. Man, I can't wait till Elder Scroll Six comes out. My fir my first character's name is gonna be T Posing Tom. Ah, uh, the Taint Scarecrow. I started with the Taint and then work worked my way out. Don't mind me, I'm just slowly walking. I still want to know where the fuck Eol is. Now I kind of want to watch Friday. Now I'm thinking about Bye Felicia. Man, that's just Dana from down the street. Bye bye, bitch. Are really? What the fuck? Bye bye Yeah, bye 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 Oh. Oh. Well, that was fun. Now let's take a look at our new home. Actually, when I walk inside, Eola should, uh... She should spawn into the house. I already ate her! I already ate her, Scarecrow. You can only- you can only eat her once. Twice, if, if if you're lucky. Ha 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 ha. Zing. Uh, actually, no. You can only eat corpses once, and that was it. Okay, so now I'm really concerned because Eola should have spawned in this house when I walked inside of it, and she's not here. So. <laughs> Good one, Scarecrow. Very nice. Who who says here at Party Horn we don't we don't strive to be the classiest uh, fools on the planet? It's not it's not all just lowbrow bullshit. I hope that is what she's doing. That means I can find her again. Uh, cause I I know I didn't dismiss her. I don't know. Maybe we'll find her corpse. All right, so I'm just looking for a random chest. That's the that's the child's chest. I'm not putting my loot in there. Yeah, this safe will do. So for now, I'll just put all my loots in this safe, and then I will uh, I'll sort through it later. We'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep all that. Yeah, well, that's okay. Eventually, this character will get married, and uh, that should reset it. So all the random uh, NPC followers that get all glitched out, they should all appear at the wedding. So one way or another, it'll fix itself. And if that doesn't fix it, then uh, some of these spells from the black books that I'll get later... Um, uh, should fix it as well. <clears throat> yeah, I got, I got all the cool stuff in here, but, uh, I'm not gonna use them right now. Cause, uh, I still got a little bit of time before I gotta end the stream, so I'm gonna use it to try to find Eola and, uh, my horse. So I'm gonna do a hard save real quick.
even though I know you guys can't see this, but I'm doing a hard save. Do 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 do! Excellent! All right. Because <clears throat> I will need light help to transfer all the shit from the Golden Hill. All right. So now we will head back. Yeah, one time in a in a very early playthrough, uh, Lydia had been decapitated, and uh, she had died, and uh, her body was supposed to spawn back at Breezy Home, but it didn't. And then you know, months of playing went by, and I just kind of forgot about it. And then my character ended up getting married. And then at the wedding ceremony, not only did Lydia respawn, but she respawned without her fucking head, and her head rolled around on the ground during my wedding ceremony. It was pretty funny, but chaotic. The we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this and place. here's my Khajiit brethren. Let's see what you got for me. I know I already have one, but I'm going to buy another one. I will definitely take all these healings over here. Oh, g give me all the skooma. Give me all the skooma. I'm just saying, a prophet once told me, he said, hey, 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 smoke weed every day. And you know what? I believe that, man. You know, if I knew I was going to run into my G brother and I would have just held on to all that shit. But that's fine. We have plenty of gold and we're going to have plenty more with that farm, so we're good. Actually, let me make sure my marker's in the right place. It is. Okay. So if Eola is somehow no longer in my service, the only thing I can think of is she did go back to the cave, the cannibal cave, so... And I'm not going all the way back there, uh, just to check on her. Hopefully she'll be on my farmland somewhere. Uh, cause I, I frankly don't have the time for it tonight. And I know she's not fucking dead. Oh, this is the saber cat. So there was two saber cats. Yeah, well, uh, Eric the Slayer on my other characters, uh, he he is their companion. Uh, cause uh, I don't know if you know the story behind Eric the Slayer, like the real life story, but uh. Basically, there was this guy with this terminal illness, and he, uh... He wasn't, like, in a... He wasn't in, like, the uh, Make-A-Wish program or whatever, but he, he... He was involved with some kind of organization that hooked him up with a trip down to, uh, the Bethesda Game Studios before he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. All right, you already know about all that. Uh, but yeah, so I like having Eric the Slayer with the other characters. Plus... Even though he starts out with a sword and shield, he's he's uh, perked out and two-handed. So I like to find the one giant camp that has the uh, the uh, giant's hammer or or war club or whatever the fuck it's called, and then I I tell him to pick it up, and when he picks it up, he can actually use it as a weapon, and he's he, it's it's pretty funny. He fucks things up with it pretty pretty hard. <clears throat> All right. Huh. Huh, interesting. Well, you know, if I had a nickel for every time fucking Skyrim glitched, I'd be a rich man. So, you know, there, there's a bunch of things going on. I don't fucking know what happened with Eola. I have no idea. Because I know she was in here when we first got here.
Yeah, well, my luck isn't that that great because uh, I don't get like letters of inheritance anymore. I just get fucking a bunch of assassins sent after me because I piss people off, and I have no no fucking idea. Yeah, I am. I'm sick of your bullshit, Fain doll. How about you give me my fucking gold? Oh, he didn't, he hasn't regenerated anymore. All right, well. That sucks yeah. that I can't find that posing bitch Eola. Remember, she did have food in her inventory, so she's not truly a cannibal. There you are! You been chilling out here in this fucking farmhouse? What the fuck is wrong with you? Watch over you champion. Okay, way here. It's an honor to see you. Follow me. Going. Yeah, thank you. Why the fuck did you just stay in here? Yeah, she was playing in hide and go seek. Actually, I think she was, you know, getting the old uh, in out in out DP from my farm hands. And you know, people do what they want, I guess. I'm not her fucking real mom. I don't tell her what to do. But I am glad I fucking found her. So at least there's one thing off the list. The only thing I can think to do. Is I don't know. No, there's no fucking carriage. All right. Well, what I'll have to do to get my horse back, uh, but we won't. We won't do this now because I don't. I don't have time for it. Uh, I guess we will walk our happy asses back to White Run uh, next week, and then we will go ahead and take a carriage from White Run to Falkreath. So, uh, that should respawn lightning close to us, plus we can do that exploit, because sadly we don't have time for it. <clears throat> hey, yeah, so this, this is how it works. On Fridays, uh, my friend and I, my, my actual associate that helps me with this YouTube channel, uh, my my YouTube channel comedy partner, so to speak, we stream on Friday nights. Uh, we sh normally start around seven o'clock on Fridays, and then every Saturday I stream by myself, starting around six thirty p.m. Both of those are Eastern Standard Times. So yeah, if you want to catch us, uh, like I said, I hate to sound like a sellout, shill, soulless fuck, but. Press all the buttons, do all the things, yada yada yada. You know, peruse through all the content that we've made over the last few years. Hey, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, just just a heads up, you know, we're just normal folks just like yourselves. We're just doing this to have fun and hopefully entertain you guys and make you guys laugh, you know, from time to time. So, thanks for swinging by. Uh, we appreciate it. So, uh, but I do have a few more minutes, so I'm gonna just sit and talk for a minute. Um, before I leave. So, yeah. Alright, peace out. Have a good night. We'll see you next week, hopefully. We'll see you. Uh, so, I don't know if RK's still in the chat. Uh, if you are, I also appreciate you being here. Everybody who stopped by. And of course, a Scarecrow. In fact, everybody that's still here, be sure to check out Scarecrow's channel. He has a YouTube channel himself. He is all Halloween all the time. Check him out, show him some love, press the buttons, do the stuff. Alright. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do next week. Hey man, no problem. Thank you for being here. Uh, so yeah, next week what we'll do, uh, I'm also saying this out loud so I can watch the stream before I stream again next week so I know what the fuck I'm doing so I'm not walking around aimlessly. Uh, so next week we will go to White Run. We will take care of all the business we need to there. We will go to the stable. We will take the stable to Falkreath. That should give her horse back to us. And we can go ahead and do that exploit, and then once we do that exploit, we need to test to make sure that I can still eat uh, corpses, even though I'm wearing the ring of, or the cursed ring of Hercene. And then if that 
works, if that exploit works, then we're in business. If it doesn't work, then I'll probably reload the hard save and then we'll go from there. But if that exploit works, then we're in business because that means I don't have to wear the fucking ring of Namira to, to still do the cannibal shit. Because as of now, uh, I can't eat corpses unless I'm wearing the ring. Uh, which is a big pain in the ass because in this game you can only wear one ring as opposed to the Oblivion and World where you can wear two rings. So not having that ring slot, uh, you know, it, it it's, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass that I can't have a nice enchanted powerful ring to wear and, and not, you know, eat corpses. So we'll figure it out. But if that exploit works, then we're in fucking business. And then this playthrough should go very smoothly. But, uh, it is 9 o'clock, so sadly I have to leave. It's been fun. I appreciate everybody swinging by. I appreciate everybody pressing the buttons and doing the things. Uh, but I have to go for now, so we will catch you guys Friday around 7 p.m. Uh, it'll be Matt and I, and we should be continuing our, uh, Dying Light 2 playthrough. Hopefully, if my internet behaves. And then uh, I'll be streaming again next Saturday around 6.30 p.m. So, but for now, peace out, have a good night, and we'll see you guys later.